Are you headed to the Mediterranean on a cruise? Packing for a cruise to the Med is entirely different than packing for destinations like Alaska and the Caribbean. We'll show you exactly what you need to pack for your cruise from long haul flight essentials to clothing and stateroom organization items. These items are the ones I'm certainly not going to leave at home and I'll tell you why. If you stick around until the end of this video, we promise we'll make it worthwhile. No nonsense, just Mediterranean packing tips and a Mediterranean cruise packing list that you can use today. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Sherry with CruiseTipsTV.com and I'd love to invite you to subscribe to our channel. Through over 20 years of cruise and travel experience, I help travelers with cruise planning, packing, and destination tips so you can create your dream cruise. Now, most of the items we discuss in this video are linked in the description and the comments for easy shopping. All right, let's get to the list. Let's talk about these must-pack Mediterranean cruise items. I'm actually headed out to the Mediterranean next week and I am elated. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna share all kinds of different things with you. Now, how is a Mediterranean cruise different? Well, it's different in a lot of ways. First, usually it takes a really long flight to get there. We're talking about long haul flight preparation, right? Then once you arrive, your sightseeing will probably involve lots of walking on uneven streets. There might even be, there might even be like cobblestones and gosh, really steep inclines. It's a lot to think about. Now there's less focus on the beach and more focus on sightseeing usually in Europe as well. We also have to think about personal safety when we're in Europe and keeping those belongings close to our body. So we're gonna share some bags that might be a good fit for you. Now stay to the end for a couple bonus packing tips. And of course, remember that the full packing list is linked down below so you don't have to take any notes at all. We're gonna share some of our flight and travel essentials then a few items to keep your stateroom organized, and then we're gonna move on to clothing and shoes. And when I get to the clothing section, I'm gonna number the outfits, starting with this dress that I got at Loft. I'll put a number on a screen and you can shop the corresponding outfit down below. So let's start with our flight and travel essentials. Ugh, these long haul flights are crazy, aren't they? You're gonna wanna start with some packing cubes and the perfect type of luggage. For this cruise, I'm taking a level eight carry-on. I'm doing carry-on only, and I absolutely love this suitcase. And for a personal item bag, I love to take something like the Weekender bag. This is something I got on Amazon and is one of my favorites. This is going to be my personal item bag for the flight. Now, something that you'll often hear about and wonder about when you're cruising to the med is what kind of a crossbody bag to buy or an anti-theft bag. And I'll be honest, I'm not gonna go for a full anti-theft bag this time, but I have a full shop full of them on Amazon if you want to shop them. But let me show you what I'm really taking. I'm actually going to take a waist pack that can double as a crossbody bag. It's nice and neutral, it's small, and it holds a lot. This is gonna work well for me on the flight, and it's also gonna work well for me once I get to my destination. Now, after uh, I get to my destination and I'm on the ship, I'm just gonna take a cute kind of more aesthetic purse to buzz around the ship in. So this is for later, but those are the two purses that I am taking. All right, so let me tell you all about what is in my personal item bag that is going on the flight. And again, the whole list is going to be on our website. You can read about it there. I'm gonna be taking a travel water bottle. I'm going to be taking a small wallet. I actually bought a new wallet for this trip that's a little bit more compact and that will allow me to keep extra space in my purse. I'm gonna take my reading glasses and glasses cleaners. I'm gonna take some cozy socks and these new foldable, small, lightweight slippers that I got on Amazon. I'm also going to be taking some other essentials like a backup credit card. Now, when you travel to Europe, you wanna make sure that you travel with a Visa or a MasterCard. You wanna avoid American Express because not everyone accepts it. So remember to take a backup credit card and be careful about your Amex. You also wanna take some Euros. Of course, you wanna take your passports and your travel documents. I have this handy travel document holder that has everything in it that I could need for my flight and my boarding day. I have in here my princess medallion, I have my passport, I have my luggage tags, and I have any kind of travel documents. 
that I might need. I don't actually have a boarding pass. This is a princess cruise and that's gonna be done digitally in the app, but I love this little guy and I even put a pen in here at the last minute. So going to, with those luggage tags, that one little tip, I'm going to affix my cruise luggage tag after the flight, not before the flight. I want that for the day of the cruise, but I don't want it to get roughed up on the flight, so I'm gonna wait until I get there. I'm also taking those medallion accessories because, as I mentioned, I'm going on a princess cruise, so I have a few wrist accessories and a necklace that I will put my princess medallion onto. I'm also going to be taking a scarf or pashmina. This is something you definitely want for your Europe cruise. This is going to keep you comfortable on your flight. It's going to keep you warm. And then when you get to your destination, there's another use for this. And I'll tell you about that a little bit later. I'm also going to be taking a travel pillow and an eye mask, like a sleep mask for my flight. It drives me crazy that I have to take something this big, but on a long haul flight, anything over six hours, I'm usually going to take some kind of a travel pillow. I'm also going to take portable chargers and cables for the flight and for my stateroom. I'm going to show you a picture of the four different charging solutions that I'm taking. I'm taking one with some built-in cables. I'm taking one to put bedside. I'm taking one that plugs right into my phone and I'm taking a USB hub. Some of them are the, for the flight and some are kind of more for my hotel room and for the cruise stateroom itself. I'm also gonna take an airplane tray table cover for this long flight that kind of keeps my area organized and I can tuck things into the back of it. These things are really, really cool. Of course, I'm also going to be taking earbuds or noise canceling headphones, and you might even wanna consider taking a Kindle. I haven't decided if I'm taking my Kindle yet, but I'm strongly leaning towards it. Now let's talk about what is on my smartphone. Of course, we're all taking our phones with us, whether or not we want to use them for anything more than a camera when we travel, uh, it's debatable. But here's what I'm going to use my phone for and what you might want to consider. I'm going to download some movies in advance. I'm going to download a translation app and I'm going to download a currency app. And my phone also has the airline and cruise line apps that I need. Also for the flight, I'm going to be taking some hand sanitizing wipes. Now, I like these little packets for once I arrive to my destination. These little tiny individual sand hands are great for shore excursions, but I like to keep this larger one in my flight bag so I'm not wasting as much packaging. They're both wonderful, they're both alcohol-based, and I love these for a flight. You will love them too. I'm also gonna take a change of shirt and underwear. Now, if you are checking your bags, you should actually make sure that you have a change of clothes in case something happens to your luggage, a complete change of clothes with you, just in case. Of course, I will also be taking my toiletries and my makeup with me on the flight. I'm gonna detail that out a little bit more, especially in that article, but this is my toiletry bag. All of my liquids are going to be going into this. Now, we've made a flight essentials shopping list all of this stuff that I just talked about is in one specific shopping list on Amazon that you can research. Okay, now we're ready to move on to part two, which is stateroom and hotel essentials. So once you get to that hotel and into your stateroom, what types of things are you going to need? Well, for the first time ever, I actually purchased a European travel adapter, but I didn't buy this for the cruise, you guys. I actually just bought this for my hotel in Greece because I'm not sure I'll be able to charge anything if I don't. So we'll see if I need it. And then I can also use it on the cruise ship in that extra outlet. Now make sure that these are compatible with the country that you're visiting. So always be sure to check that out when you shop on Amazon. As I mentioned before, I'm taking four charging solutions, some of which I can use in the hotel as well. I'm also going to be taking a pop-up hamper that I can use in the hotel and in my cruise ship. I might take some, uh, some of these magnets and hooks with me to put on the stateroom walls. These are fantastic for hanging up things that are just kind of extra, like a little purse or maybe putting your pashmina next to the door so you can grab it when you're kind of coming in and out of your stateroom. That's always handy. And the last thing I'm taking that's kind of an essential for the stateroom is my wall mount itinerary. We have a customizable blank one that you can access down in the description. You can just fill it right in. It's kind of like a dock and you print it out and you can either laminate it or pop it in a sheet protector and then pop it on the wall with a magnet and you'll be all set. Okay, how about clothing and accessories? I think this can be one of the most confusing 
parts about packing for the Mediterranean because depending on what time of year you're traveling, the weather can be kind of dramatic, right? In the summer months, in the med, it's really hot. In the spring, it's a little cooler, but it might be sunny and bright and you may need shorts. So let's go through the basics of clothing and accessories. And when I show you an outfit specifically up here on the screen, on whichever side here, it's gonna have a number on it. And that number is going to correspond to the link in the outfit in the description so you can shop them with ease. So let's start with the first essential. I think I would recommend for most people one swimsuit and a cover up for your Mediterranean cruise. Now, you might want more swimwear if you're going during the summer months or if you're doing really beachy excursions, but I think one swimsuit and cover up is usually enough. How about shirts and things like that, basic shirts? If you're going on a seven night cruise, I would probably recommend five to seven comfortable shirts. Combination of short and long sleeve and tanks is probably a good idea. For shorts, three to four shorts, some jeans, some light pants. Just be sure to lay everything out on your bed to make sure that it matches before you go on your cruise so you have an idea of what outfit combinations you're going to be creating. Now, I tend to live in dresses on a cruise. So while I am going to be taking a couple of jeans and sweater type combinations, and I'll put a, a photo up really quickly of some of those combinations, I'm really going to be living a lot more probably in dresses and sweaters. So most people will probably on a seven night cruise, if you're wearing dresses, ladies, each night, you're probably gonna want five casual dresses and two elegant or formal dresses depending on your cruise line. And remember, these dresses are great to re-wear by day. You could take one of your evening dresses, put a white linen shirt over the top of it, and wear it out when you're sightseeing. I also think that some kind of a cover is really important when you're in the Mediterranean. You're gonna to wanna to focus on some kind of a linen shirt, a pashmina, a light sweater, but you need to think about lightweight, breathable if you're going in those summer months. And remember that these pashminas are great for covering your shoulders when you're visiting cathedrals and churches. You may also want to pack a hoodie or a light sweater. I'm actually taking a lightweight leather jacket because I'm traveling in early spring and I think I may need it. I'm considering a rain jacket too and you might want to do that as well if you see rain in the forecast right before your cruise. Of course, you're also going to want to remember your pajamas, undergarments, socks, and the sleepwear that you might want. And then you're gonna to wanna to consider your jewelry and accessories. I love putting my jewelry in a little jewelry roll like this. Also consider things like sunglasses and of course a hat. Now let's talk about shoes. Shoes are so important. You are going to want to focus on worn in walking shoes for Europe. Maybe three, four pairs of shoes total is probably all you need. You're gonna want those walking shoes, some flip-flops or a sandal for those pool visits. And then for evenings, you might wanna consider a comfortable wedge or a sandal, and then one pair of formal shoes that you can wear for both elegant nights. And I'll show you really quickly what I'm taking on my next cruise. I'm taking wedges, formal shoes, sneakers, and a kind of a, uh, flip-flop type thing for beachy type moments. I'm not planning a lot of beach time on my cruise. I also found these clever sneaker cleaners on Amazon. And because I'm going on a summer, well, spring cruise, and I'm taking white tennies, I thought I would get some sneaker cleaners. All right, let's talk about toiletries and things like that. You're gonna wanna pack your toiletries, cosmetics, and small amounts of medication and first aid items when you cruise. And here's a hot tip for you. Always pack Band-Aids in case you get blisters or you have a small cut or laceration or injury, scratch, whatever. In general, you're going to want to pack cosmetics, skin and hair care products, sunscreen, prescriptions and over-the-counter medications, and any other day-to-day -day essentials you might need. You can fit them in something like this, or you can take them in a toiletry bag. I love both of these and I usually travel with them. And of course, I'm gonna link them for you. If you get motion sick, don't forget to take your motion sickness remedies. Another option is to take some kind of a tote bag for those beach days or pool visits and longer excursion days, maybe even a lightweight backpack, but be careful carrying something on your back in Europe. You always wanna keep it kind of close to your body. All right. That, my friends, is your Mediterranean cruise packing list. Now, I do have some bonus tips for you. 
you're going to want to save room for souvenirs before you go on your cruise. So make sure you leave a little bit of space either in your personal item bag, make sure you leave a little extra spot in here, or in your suitcase, right? It's so important. Also, be sure to check that weather forecast for your destination just a couple of weeks in advance to see if there's rain in the forecast or not and what the temperature is kind of trending. You'll also want to grab our Mediterranean cruise packing guide in the description and the comments and check out all the links. Now, please, a note about some of these links. I am uh, on LTK, which is a shopping app. There's lots of links from there and there's lots of links from Amazon. Sometimes things sell out like this dress from Loft. It's probably going to sell out. It's a seasonal item. If you shop the Amazon items, they're less likely to sell out. They tend to keep their stock quite full and we usually don't have an issue but when you're shopping things like my walmart loft and old navy items friends they're seasonal and they will probably sell out so i'm so sorry about that please give us a quick thumbs up on this video and if you're not subscribed be sure to do so i know for a fact that sometimes over 60 percent of the people who watch our videos aren't yet subscribed so we want you to join our awesome community go ahead also and leave us a comment below letting us know where you're going on your Mediterranean cruise. I'm going to Santorini, Naples, and Kusadasi. Where are you going? Until next time, friends, we'll see you on the high seas. Bye-bye.